board this train. That's some gambling, drinking hard liquor, chewing tobacco, spitting out windows, spitting on the floor, or swearing in front of women folk and these precious children. So is that understood? Are y'all ready for a fun trip? Yes, yes sir. All right. The locomotive over here on your far right, number 201, has an interesting history. It was outshot in 1906, and it and 92 other brand new locomotives were purchased by the Ismanian Canal Commission and shipped down to Panama. It's been 10 years in the building of the Panama Canal. The working life of a steam locomotive is somewhere between 75 and 125 years. Modern day diesel electrics do good on the main line to last 25, maybe 30. At the end of 10 years, those 93 locomotives, their market value is brand new. And the American locomotive industry is not one coming back on the market. An order was cabled down to Panama from the Isthmus Commission. They took some of those locomotives aboard a ship took them out in the Atlantic Ocean and dropped those locomotives overboard. They took others down the Pacific and dropped overboard. The inland locomotives had lined them up head to tail on low-lying rails and Lake the tune was allowed to rise over them. Their scuba tours in Panama take folk out in the lake and they dive and swim among those locomotives sitting on the rails. A salvage operator had made the high bid for all the locomotives. And he was in Panama to see about them. He found a northbound freighter that had room left for three locomotives. They boarded them, took them to New Orleans, unloaded them, the rest of the cargo, turned around to go back and get a full load of locomotives. <coughs> Somewhere between New Orleans and Panama, he got a wireless message and said the government had put a stop to the locomotives. 201 is one of three locomotives that survived the building of the Panama Canal. And she ran for 96 years. set on the frame and into the transmission of those little yellow maintenance cars you see behind it. Those maintenance cars are called speeders. That Chevrolet weighs about 5,000 pounds. Therefore, it has an air brake. The steering wheel's been taken off and it still runs. Now, when it was new, with steel wheels on steel rails and a speeder transmission, that little Chevy would get it just under 100 miles an hour in both directions. That's why it's head on the This is an antique. It's a conductor's punch. When I punch your tickets, there will not be a round hole like a notebook punch. There will be a little design in it. Each passenger conductor on any one railroad is assigned an individual punch. No two conductors on that line made the same punch hole. 
The remnants of the Georgia Northern coach. All but it's lost. And there's a little flat car. The other passenger car that did not get used anymore. Anybody else want to call them? My mom died a couple years back and was going through the paper. She got a long envelope inside of her parents' marriage license. They were married in Colgate, Cole County, Southern District, I.T., 1896. And there's a little dark alert. Where y'all from? Where y'all from? Where y'all from? Anybody else here from Texas? Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. My mama was born in Texas. My mama was raised in Texas. My mama brainwashed in Texas. 201 is old tender. My mama made me Travis. Watch all these Texas heads start bobbing up and down. Yeah. Magnolia. She's from Beaumont. Magnolia, that's what she said. Well, we're glad to have you here with us, okay? It's our yearly trip. <laughs> oh, my mama one time told me she was blood of Texas to go through your veins. <laughs> and I'm no smart kid, and I go, oh, I'm a dual citizen. I'm, I'm a dual citizen. I'm an American. I'm a Texan. She said, if your mama's a Texan, you're a Texan. <laughs> I can't even feel it. y'all. Uh, people from Texas, they have real big egos. You can tease them all day, don't bother them. <laughs> now, if you say something bad about Texas, they'll air up real fast. But if you tease them, they don't bother them. Where y'all from? Texas. It's going pretty good. Usually it's slower. I got a fucking dinner for you. and a quarter mile long in the train. The railroad. Imagine someone living in that place. Were you scared to death when you came here? Yeah. Well, I saw you used to be able to climb up the back of there. Dude, I think that's Leatherwood Creek. You want me to know that? A few hundred thirty acres.